All right, so blam, right back at it. It's your boy GK Diego Puebla. Um, off white joint, right? So <clears throat> last night I ate some edibles and the video wasn't popping, right? Like the unboxing stuff nowadays is like I'm done with um like the unboxing, like the literal, the, the you know the the actual cardboard box and all that and wasting time with that like it's no point to it when i get to the ua stuff i get to the ua stuff you know what i'm saying i'm a stand-up dude like there's nothing that needs to be done to where i have to actually open the brown box and and waste three four minutes when my shows are already long enough because i want to be thorough for the people that watch my shows because i want the people that are watching a lot of them are looking at buy these things so they want a thorough review you understand you dig the shirts are coming do you dig do you know what i'm saying all them all my catchphrases you know what i'm saying all that all them shits is coming we working on it studio done two weeks we live number one number two all my catchphrases you know what i'm saying you dig you know Things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? But we got to be careful because motherfuckers will steal your shit, copyright before you get a chance, and so on and so on. So I do this for the people. This is by the people, for the people, all the time. You feel me? So let's get right into it. I was going to wait till everything from Cyber Monday, Black Friday, all them steals and, and do a whole video. But everything is like, it's not coming in all at once. So we're just going to get it one by one, and then we'll do it like that. So off-white review. Blam. Right? This is like a resale hype versus what you like, things of that nature. For example, if these shoes are reselling for eight, nine hundred or something of that nature or, or above, it'd be hype. They'd be the shit. But because they're I bought them under retail, it switches the whole wave on that. But enough said. You guys can read between the lines. I'm assuming my demographic and my analytics show what it is and you guys are intelligent people and intellectual people and can understand what I'm saying. Even with my accent and the slang that I use and things of that nature, but I am who I am. What you gonna do? You gonna put me on a cross and murder me? Hope not, but hey, it is what it is. So here it is. This the box. Blam, 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 right? Shiny. Not your regular box. Off-white box. You know what I'm saying? Got the holes in it. Got the holes in it. StockX pickup. So StockX review as well. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people dogging StockX. Uh, haven't, lot, haven't had a lot of issues, but I had had one. And I will address that in the next video. Blank. Let's get to what the hell it is and what's going on. So these are the off-white slash Nike collaboration Vapor Street off-whites. And women's, of course. You dig? So, again, 11 and a half turns into a 10 in man's size. I'm sure you guys can do the math up and down when it comes to women's. And to do the women's stuff on purpose. Because it's hard to get the men's sizes than women's. So there you go. It's the polarized blue, tour yellow. Eh, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't go that route. But you know, retail box price one ninety. So something like this, probably, um, maybe like two thirty eight or something, like shipped and tax and things of that nature. But it is what it is. We're gonna deal with it. All right. So inside the box. We have like a DHL looking joint with the off white um, tissue paper. You guys can see it. Off white, 2013. It's 2013 is when off white popped off and started, even though, hey, it is what it is. Nothing crazy. Just that tissue paper. And it has a little foam thing right here, um, which is the same material basically that the shoes from the off white have, like on the tongue and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's from the 10 or the ones I'm about to show you. You dig? So that's the box. You know what I'm saying? Slick feeling. You know what I'm saying? Uh, kind of nail polished feel to it. You know what I mean? StockX pickup. 
get the shoes. There go the shoes. Blam. There go the shoes. Blam. All right, let's get to it. Vapor Street, off whites. Stock X review. We got the Stock X hang tag. Don't forget to scan the QR codes when you get shit from Stock X and put it in your catalog with Stock X and so on and so on. All right, these are the Vapor Street women's. This is size 10 for men's, perfectly for me. I love the colorway. I love the baby blue Argentina colorway. Number one. I like the, the hit of pink. You can see in the back right here. Um, this is leather. Really, really nice. I'll show you something really dope. Um, and it ha the whole shoe has this, um, not plastic, but it's like a, like a protector. You could spill whatever on them. Right, because these are running shoes, number one, and shit like that. So you can spill water or shit like that. It's not gonna damage the shoe. But you guys um watch a uh, Jack um video. Um he actually took the whole this whole plastic quote unquote all of it off. The only problem is when you take it off, you're taking off the swoosh, the orange joint, and the printing on this side. That's the only problem. But I'll get to that in a minute. Okay? <clears throat> Got the left pair right here. So we get to the bottom right away. Vapor Street. Old school. This is old school shit. My mom or my dad had one of these pairs in the 80s. Or 78 or 83 or something like that. So that's what I like about this. And the materials under here, it's like that 80s, like Cortez. Uh, you know, they messed it up with this. I think that's why the resale wasn't what it is. You did, but when you get to the bottom, pretty simple. It's the Vapor Streets. It's a running joint. You know what I'm saying? I think this thing pop off like 3 a.m. or they might glow in the dark. I don't know. Comment below. Let me know. You feel me? Um, pretty off whitish running original Vapor Street jump off. You got the Nike swoosh in black and it pops off, kind of like the vulcanized uh, red video I just did. If you have that video, check it out. It's a good video. Um, so that's the bottom, um, clean, you know what I'm saying? The mid is, mm, is white, but it has the off-whitish, you know what I'm saying, feel to it, you know what I'm saying? You have the yellow, uh, swoosh, which kind of turns out the shoe, you know what I'm saying? You have the traditional off-white, orange, little tab right there, you know what I'm saying? You go to the back, it's a clean backs, clean shoe. Uh, mind you guys, I paid these. It's one ninety box price. I bought these for under retail. I bought them for one sixty, one sixty five. Show you the receipt in a minute. All right. On the back, you have Nike and white old school. Gotta love it with the kind of pinkish fuchsia and leather. Then we get to the inside. Um, you got your little tag right here. The off-white tags that they do with everything, right? And then you have the off-white for Nike, Vapor Street, Beaverton, Oregon, USA, 2019, da 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 right? Mid, very bouncy, very zoom fly type of feel. You know what I'm saying? There's the... Hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna break shit. <laughs> There's the toe cap. Good look. There's the toe box. Okay. So, you got to love the tongue. For me, patches and old school tongues and shit like that, that's the wave. I like that. So, we got like the old school Nike, you know, 78, 82 type of feel on there. And they put the StockX hang tag through that joint, um, which 80% of the shoes uh, could be done this way. Uh, this doesn't mean that the fakes are not, not going to jump on it in real life. You understand what I'm saying? Now you got these green laces through the shoes, right? You got fly wire, black, 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 black. You got a pink joint slash fuchsia right there. And then black, 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 black. 
with these green joints, right? You can take them green joints off if you want. No problem. And I got the pink, uh, the fuchsia, whatever color, off-white, rope laces you can think of. I got them so I can switch them however I want. Most people, you probably might want to take these out and just keep it OG. But the green joints got black tips. Nothing special. The original laces is dope because they have that, again, that 78, 83 feel. Like they're, yeah, they're flat white laces, but they're fat, regular type, you know what I'm saying? Laces. If you see what I'm talking about. Off white shoelaces, quotation on the white joints. Switch them out. I'll show you in a minute. You guys see I got these right here ready to go to match up. But you can take the greens off if that's not your wave. You know what I'm saying? We get to the tongue, we're dealing with the same situation like the thing I showed you inside the box. With this material, like from the tan, off whites, and all that. You know, uh, old school. You know what I'm saying? Old school. I don't think it's going to be a big thing as far as like fake, legit check these and all that. But hey, just for the sake of it, you know, I want to show you the inside. The footbed is the same as the paper, etc., etc. One thing that's dope about the footbed is that real versus fake, you don't have that. That glue on the back part, only on the front. You see you have some writing up under there. Same as the other one. The guts, the sock liner with that pink, that fuchsia, and like some nylon. Um, real soft, real pretty feeling. You feel me? Now, what's dope about this is, hold on. So, the ticket slash the snatch, right? U.S. 11 and a half, 44, da, da, da. This is a 10 U.S. men's, right? So the ticket to snatch is stitched in, as you can see, into the insole, into the footbed. That's why I say, here go the glue. The back part, there is no glue. Fakes don't do that. So stitched on the footbed, something that they should do more and switch up from model to model and model to model, and things like that, where they put the ticket, the snatch. That way they stood ahead, ahead of them folks across the water. 98%ers, 99%ers, the UAs, whatever you want to call them. You know what I'm saying? And I'll get to those videos and the comparisons. Same as the paper. You know, off-white, da, da da 2013, like when it started, you got the swoosh, that orange DHL color type of joint. You know what I'm saying? Uh, again, the ticket to snatch being stitched into the insole of the footbed is a good look because you don't have nothing on that side, that side. It's on the footbed of the shoe. So if they start doing joints like this and they keep it on the hush, they're not going to have the fakes on the footbed until they catch on to them. Which is not going to take long, but for a little bit of time, maybe they could get ahead of what's going on. Got a little arrow up there pointing up. Okay, so took the footbed out, showed you guys that. And we'll get to this one right here. See, I got the laces ready to go you feel me what the, yeah shoelaces right there see them ready to go whether switch out the whites whether take out the green i don't mind the, the double um double lacing and the green and all that i don't mind that i don't mind it <clears throat> but if i were to wear them i probably would not take them off but here's the fun part about it one day you could take them off. One day you could have them on. One day I could throw these on so it matches the fuchsia pink. 
whether it's both or one and one and so on and so on. So just showing you guys, you feel me? So on this one, on the right pair, we got a zip tie, like an olive green, forest green zip tie. This is not a like a shiny uh, zip tie or anything like that. It doesn't have nothing on it. Maybe that's why it didn't hype up. You dig what I'm saying? Like they need the 2013 off-white printing on here for it to be hype. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's it. I don't know. Again, you see that? Like the, the ticket the snatch stitched onto the footbed. The footbed is uh it's like a uh satin, satin footbed, so like very comfortable. Now Jack, Jack ripped all the um you guys see this plastic? If you guys can see that, I want you guys to really, really see that. Because this is where I think they messed up. That's that 78, 82 nylon, not Krylon, but I call it Krylon. You know what I'm saying? Real wavy. You know what I'm saying? But they put this, uh, the sneaker sole protector throughout the shoe. So like water, whatever you spill on it, sweat, it doesn't damage the shoe. But it messed, it kind of messed everything up, too, if you ask me. Now, Jack, he, he took the whole plastic... The whole cover on the shoe, he took it off, right? He took it off. The only problem is when you take it off, you're taking off the Nike right here. You're taking off the tab. You're taking off the off-white printing right here. And I'm not sure if the Fuchsia pink uh, swoosh comes off as well, but I'm 99% that it does. That's the only problem. So with me, what I'll probably do is I will probably, because with an exacto knife, you can take this off in a few hours, no problem. What I'll probably do is start here, start here, start here, leave the back tab. We'll start with the back tab. I'm gonna leave that open. I want to. I want that leather. You know what I'm saying? That's like my wave. But if you want to take it off, it's not hard. You're going to start like, again, like right here, right? So you have the first line of the stitching, which is going to be this, and right there, right? Like that. And then you're going to start right there and start taking out the stitching. Da -da 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 -da. Then you're going to move da -da -da -da, this, this way. Then you're going to go here. Da -da 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 -da. Then you're going to go here. And slowly by slowly, in three hours, you can peel all this off, and then you get the real... the real material which is real wavy by the way and as far as like the blue we have like a like a university blue right here right you see that right here and I don't know if it's suede it is this is suede like new bucks so like why not cut that off like that's where they messed up see what I'm saying but you have like a university blue sport blue you know what I'm saying? Sport blue, university blue, sport blue, university blue, and the rest, uh, whatever the name of that, uh, the, of the Argentina blue. Let's just call it Argentina blue. Soccer jersey shit. You know what I'm saying? So you can take that off. Only problem is you're going to rip off the yellow, the orange, and you're going to rip off the printing. And I don't know if the Fuchsia pink swoosh rips off or not but I think it does. So for me, see, look at that. Maybe that's why it didn't pop like they should have. Off-white Nike collaboration, OG old school 78, 82 shoe, like very, you know, hard. This colorway's popping. And the waffles is dropping right now, what, three days, five days or something like that? So I know when to pick certain things up you feel me and if this is not like a good color for you like yo this is you know it's pink it's baby blue it got orange oh you got the black ones you got the gray ones very very subtle 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 joints you feel me so what is it about the off-white nike collaborations that makes people jump on them resale price these were going for 1500 these would be the ish right but because I was able to cop them under retail and, and bust that move, is that something that I should be concerned about? No. I buy what I like. He is what you like. Dope shit is what you like. 
And again, with these, you can do a lot. Look. They didn't think of this. No extra laces. Showed you guys the box. There's the tongue. You know, shoelaces, white. The white shoelaces, I really like the old school feel. Like, this is how the shoes looked when I was 6, 11 years old. From Cortez's to Vapor Streets. So many models. Air Maxes. Like, it was just a feeling of, like, you know. This is like going back. Like, why would you go back 20 years when we did tongues like this? When now we're 20 years above this quality of tongue. I Meaning we're 20 years better. He went back, kind of like the opposite. Kind of like Kanye with the MAGA hat. Go against the grain. And you pop off. Whether it's numbers, money, businesses, etc., etc. That's what the off-white and Virgil type of wave did. They took what everybody would say is like garbage. Well, that technology is old. Tongues that are made like that... That's garbage because we've upgraded the tongues for 30 years to make them better and so on and so on. So now you take what people don't like. That's not the most uh, up to date, uh, not technology, but up to date, you know what I'm saying? Uh, manufacturing and, 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 and parts and, and clothing and assembly and materials and so on and so on. So now we take what everybody hates and we make everybody love it because it's against the grain. It, it's a simple one-on-one business tactic move for any guys that went to college or took, you know, business classes or anything of that nature. You know what I'm saying? It's real simple. It's the MAGA hat effect with Kanye. You know what I'm saying? It's the UFC fighter that wears the MAGA hat and that suit. He knows that suit looks like crap. He knows that suit is a $30 suit. He knows the 30-year-old uh, motorcycle cop glasses are garbage. But nobody's doing that. So when you do that, you get the attention and the monies that you need and the monies that you want. You understand? This is kind of the same type of feel. Not with any negativity or anything of that nature, but it's the same wave. You're taking something that is... Like, as far as, like, a tongue for a running shoe, this is not going to work. Because we've upgraded this tongue 30 years since it was like this. So now we take what you hate and we make you love it. That's why I say heat is what you like. So, again, Jack took everything off as far as this plastic... Which is very cool as far as protective. You could drop your soda on this shit and the shoe's not going to do nothing. Just get some water on it and it's gone. So as far as me, I'm not going to rip everything off. Because again, this shit's going to come off. This shit's going to come off. You know, I, I don't want to fuck up the shoe like that. Maybe if I had that type of use that type of money, I would. You dig what I'm saying? But I most definitely probably will cut this part, this part, this part. Let this be exposed how it should be. As much as I can without taking anything off the sneaker. You know what I'm saying? Definitely want to get this new buck suede shown. So probably that right there. Leave that like that. And probably that's about it. Vapor Street. And I got the joints to go with them. Like, if I want to switch with the white ones and so on and so on. If you want to take these joints off, you can take these joints off and just rock them natural. Quote, unquote. You dig what I'm saying? StockX review, StockX pickup. I paid $165 for these. Box price is $190. Paid under retail. Um, Cyber Monday, Black Friday pickups. I was going to do them all at once, but they're coming in different days and shit like that. So, just going to get them out the way for you guys. And, uh, hey, man, for all you guys, um, kids, youth. Um, older people, so on and so on. Damn, man, I wish I could get me an off-white Nike Collabo, Air Force One, Air Maxes, like Jordans, da 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 Hey, here you go, man. Off-white Nike collaboration. You're getting everything authentic, da 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 
pay on a retail, grab you a pair? Or are you only interested in the shoes that have a 800% markup? And you're not really being yourself and you're not really buying what you like. I bought these because I like them. I'm a, I'm a guy that likes colorful stuff. You guys know that. Red is my joint. I like the pinks with the blues and the yellows. and You know what I'm saying? You guys have seen that through the years. You know what I'm saying? I could have bought the black one, the gray ones. I'm probably going to grab the mother two as well. Under retail. Why not? I'm a collector. You know what I'm saying? So buy what you like, number one. Number two, hey, young men, young ladies, because these are women kicks. This is a Nike off-white collaboration. It's a dope shoe. Acquired taste. Not for many. Again, you can take off the laces, you can switch laces, you can do what you want, you can rip the plastic off. You can pretty much customize these if you want to. Again, got the off-white fuchsia pink joints to match. So young ladies, young men, uh, guys my age weren't ever, ever able to get you a off-white Nike collabo type of joint, authentic, genuine. Go grab you one of these under retail. They got the subtle ones, the all black, gray, very subtle colors. You know what I'm saying? And you could have an off-white Nike collabo joint. You know what I'm saying? For under retail right now. But the waffles is coming, so these going to shoot up. Trust me, number one. Number two, they got the subtle colors as well. Like the black and the grays and, and the ish like that. If you're not with the, like the baby blue, Argentina, and the yellow, and the pink, fuchsia, and all that. You know what I'm saying? So, again, unboxing, StockX review. Review on a sneaker. Pretty Pretty thorough, right? 30 minute show down there. Showed you guys everything. Uh, my favorite part is that they put in the snitch, uh, the snitch, the tacket, the, uh, the ticket snatch stitched in to the insole, the footbed of the sneaker. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. You know what I'm saying? Eliminates a lot of BS. So uh, there you go. Um, StockX doing something new. I never seen something like this, like with the Travis Scott's. Maybe I entered something or something. I don't know. This what came with it. Um, of course, your StockX uh, sticker came with it. Uh, let me do this and show you the total uh, the total outcome. There you go, and I'll be out. Eleven and a half again. That's uh, ten in men's my size. One sixty five. I purchased one ninety box price. One sixty five. Of course, StockX gonna hit, hit you for the shipping and all that. So one hundred ninety four dollars. Box price one hundred and ninety. Feel me? So if you bought them at one hundred and ninety, you probably paid like two seventeen, two thirty eight or something shipped with taxes, Nike, and so on and so on. And here you go, man. To me, these are fire. The only thing they did wrong is this, but they stuck true to the Vapor Street, which was to cover the shoe up when people are running and taking the water and the oranges and shit like that, and it's spilling to not ruin the shoe and get the moisture inside and shit like that. So you could keep running that marathon, you know, those 33 miles or 28 miles. That's what that is all about. But Jack took the whole shit off, all of it. Might take you three hours. Only thing is you're ripping this off. All the, all, you know, the, 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 all of this is coming with it. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm probably going to do is make sure that stands out Go around here. Make sure we get this suede right here. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't see that color unless I pull it down. No, Charlemagne. You see what I'm saying? So I'm probably just going to cut that way. Cut around here. Make sure that shows. Maybe make, if I can make this show, I'll do that. You know what I'm saying? And that's that. And I'm copying another pair of these and the other two as well. Because under retail, Nike, Off-White Collabo. Got to do it as a collector. And in the bottoms, um, I think them things glow in the dark or they're like 3M is green. I'm not sure. But that's it. SGK TV Network. Yours truly, GK Diego Fuego. Heat for days. Call it what you want. Peace and blessings. Love to everybody. I love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be back. Studios ready. Ready to go. Meaning in two weeks, we right live. Freestyle Fridays, interviews, and so on and so on. You dig? You heard? All them t-shirts, the yard, the fashion line, the custom sneakers. It's coming. I'm working hard, guys. I'm doing it for you guys. Peace and blessings. Love to everybody. Hope you guys stay up. Keep your money right. Health is wealth. You dig? So make sure that you guys take care of yourselves. 
and the and your loved ones. Number one, you heard. So that's that, and I'm out. And these are fire. These are heat for under retail. One.